context up to that. Eh? Yeah, the score line, the score line is the score line, but the performance is is what we really need to to uh, focus on and try to get a number of the elements um, more competitive. I, I, I guess um, I, I thought from most of the collision areas, all of the collision areas really, we, we struggled uh, from the breakdown. Um, they they got some early traction through their scrum penalties. Um, the line out, we, I, I felt we defended the line out more reasonably well in the first half, and and uh, and and kept them off our line, which was a a big um, focus area for us. So, so that was positive. Um, the one they did get with the um, with the transfer aerial transfer, um, you know, I, I felt we probably should have done better. We we kind of anticipated it, but but didn't deliver the defence that we were looking to deliver. Um, they don't give you a lot of breathing space, um, you know. The, the, it was hard to find oxygen in that first half, particularly when we when we conceded, I think eight or nine penalties, and 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 they they didn't concede the penalties, so or didn't get penalised uh, to the same extent. So it, it it just made it very very tough work um, getting out of our half. And then when we did, um, we kicked the ball away a couple of times without kicking it accurately. We didn't get into the aerial contest. Um, and then, um, obviously, the the contest at the breakdown, uh, w- we just weren't effective enough there. Um, uh, just the dimension of the empty count there, to replace on you. Any typical champions, that much ball territory, any different from before? How hard has that been to try and pull your way back and try and, um, try and get back into the contest when you're playing confidence? Yeah, certainly tough. Um, you know, and the scoreboard showed that in, in the first half. Um, and it's going to be a tough learning for us, but understanding that uh, yeah, you can't give them an out or, or, or an easy out, you know. And as our coach mentioned, <clears throat> and they put us under pressure at set piece and then came to our multi phase attack and they were pressing our breakdown, you know. So uh, we probably can't afford, our learning is we can't afford to give them those moments back to back, you know. So. Um, that's what, that's what um, you know made it tough to get out of our half. Alan, you're the cold face of those scrums. Do you think the count, penalty count, was reflective of the contest? Um, yeah, I mean, like it was certainly tough, you know, and 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 we knew, you know, what was coming. Um, <clears throat> like for us, I think, like we built as the game went on, but you know, you got to be able to face that and be better right from the start, um, you know, especially technically. So um, it's an area of our game that the front row will look at. Um, you know, make sure that we're better for next week. Yeah, you do, you do. Um, that's probably a benchmark for us. You know, it's a. You know, we've had three tests prior to that, but that's really a starting point um, up against the really big boys. And um, you know, they. Um, I, I think I said during the week that they're. A, they're at a different sort of stage of their evolution. They they have so much experience, um, some some very mature players who've played at the very top level for for a long time and very successfully. So um, we have quite a youthful side and a side that are still coming together. But we've got to come together better than we did today, and we've got to accelerate some of the learning. Um, and, and there was there's obvious learning from today. Uh, but you but you don't suddenly solve, you know, um, the South African conundrum. They uh, they they're very physical in those um, contest areas in the in the set piece and the breakdown. But then they're very quick on the edges. You know, probably a couple of the tries that really were disappointing were the two tries to the wingers where we'd actually defended really well, and then. Um, Kurtley Aronce uh, shot through and then the other one where Jesse Creel stepped back against the flow of the defence and, and linked up and and they got away to score again. So th- th- those two tries, because I, I felt we fought pretty hard, um, albeit w- without a lot of ball in that in that first half and then, um, you know, 
got back into it to a degree in the second half. Um, it would have been nice to finish just a little bit closer, the second half being 12-7. Um, but that is on the reality of three yellow cards, uh, albeit the last one very late in the game. Yeah, I have a few ideas, and 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 you know we'll we'll try to we, we will try to get that um, get that sorted out. You know, I I felt we were a little bit unlucky on a couple, and then um, and then you know I think the set piece ones they're very hard to to solve from a discipline perspective. You just got to be better at your at your core role and. Um, as Al said, I actually felt our scrum improved as the game went on. And so there's some learnings that in real time, I felt were were being built into um, the, the way that we were scrummaging. Um, and, and, you know, across the board, uh, we I thought we scrambled really well defensively a few times. Uh, the one where, you know, <laughs> dived over the ruck and the ball spilled out and they they shot down the right-hand side. Um, the effort away from the ball, watching players race back and, and chase down some really athletic players and then actually shut that down and turn it over was was really impressive to see the that the determination is there, that that there's a pride in playing for the Wallabies and, and you know, there's some elements of the game that I, I felt proud about as well. Um, but there's obviously elements of the game that we, we need to be a heck of a lot better at. How do, you, um, how do you make sure that this team wins the physical battle and creates the next one? Do you have the time and do you have the tactics uh, and the personnel to do I, I don't think you can ever guarantee anything. I think South Africa will maybe change up a, a few personnel or, or change up a few of uh, the, the things that they did. And so you, you're always trying to adjust. Um, but, but I do think that uh, that there is an opportunity for us to, to to get back into some of those contests. You know, we from the from the scrum um, to to the aerial contest where we didn't really get into the into the contest. And and it, if if you don't get into those contest areas, then it's very hard to to play without the ball against a team as powerful and as fleet of foot um, and skillful as South Africans. Um, not, not entirely. You, I mean, I think there's guys who will improve what they're delivering, um, and you know maybe it won't be improved in time for next Sunday, but or next Saturday. But uh, we, we do have to have a bit of a long-term plan. We have got a, a much younger side than the South Africans. We've got a lot less caps. We've got a lot less experience, and therefore. Um, it, it, my belief, if, if we chop and change too much, then it's very hard to, to grow the cohesion um, because when, when you go out in a game like that, you are very interdependent and you're going to have to make sure that everyone knows their role has been built, um, ready to, to deliver their role. And, you know, I, I thought Carlo Tazano did really well t today, really well. You know, it would have been nice to have Fraser McRide as well and, and Luke Reimer coming off the bench. Um, there, there's, there's guys who, who, who um, will get better with opportunity. You know, two guys making their, um, their test debut against the likes of C. Khaleesi, Quagga Smith, Peter Steph de Toy. Um, you know, it, I, I am a realist and I know that you don't suddenly match up front up and, and better those guys but you've got to better yourself for next week yeah Nick, Nick's was um, he, he split his eye and um, with, it, it, it was quite a bad laceration so um, his eye you know, it's it's almost closed over at the moment, which which affects your vision. He also took a bit of a knock at one stage, so he he was off. Uh, Filippo, um, you know that he he came down on 
or got hit on the leg, and so we're going to get that uh, checked out, and we'll have, I would say by Monday, a, a, a decent idea about that. Um, and I think the only other one, Jeremy Williams came off. Um, Jake Gordon had a laceration, but um, I'm not sure about how those two are. It's going to be a tough pill to swallow, but a lot of our boys will learn from that. Um, as our coach said, like we've got a, a lot of our boys with um, you know a handful of caps, you know, is learning what the test arena is like, and there's no better way to learn than um, you know versing the South Africans. So um, again, we've got to learn um, and then make sure that we're better for Perth. Yeah, we've seen it before from them. So you, you try to you try to cover as much as you can without distracting players who are then looking for too much, and you get clutter instead of clarity around what you're going to do. Um, so we became probably a little bit fixated on on where, where the ball landed, um, where the jumper was, as opposed to the to the secondary pod that they kept in the air and the. Uh, at the front of the line-out. So, you know, th those little bits of innovation, um, the, the things that we have seen before, I think some of the innovation that Tony Brown will bring in their attack, uh, some of the width of, of, of their attack, we did see that in the Irish series, having had a close look at that, and we saw a bit of that tonight, uh, uh, this afternoon as well. Thanks, Bob. Thank you.